Graham Thompson of Thompson Aeronautical Limited, and in this video clip we're going to show you how to correctly track a wooden aircraft propeller. If you're new to this part of aviation, you should know that tracking is the procedure of making sure that the prop spins entirely in one plane. Another way of putting that is that when you turn the prop around from one end to the other end of the prop, both ends of the prop should pass through the same points in space. Here's how that's done. First, make sure that your magneto switches are off. Next, chalk your wheels to make sure that the airplane doesn't roll forwards or backwards during this procedure. It would be a real shame to think that there was something wrong with your prop when in fact the airplane was moving. Torque your prop to the manufacturer's recommendations. For hardwood maple props you can use 10 to 12 foot-pounds. Next, place some solid blocks behind the prop in a position so that they almost but don't quite touch the trailing edge of the tip of the prop. Let's take a look at this again from the side to see if we can get a better understanding of what's happening. Look at the distance between the prop and the paint can. The idea is to have it almost but not quite touch as the prop passes. Then you rotate the prop so that the other blade is in this position and hopefully the gaps between the prop and the paint can will be identical. If moving the prop into the second position would make it hit the paint can, then readjust the position of the paint can and repeat the procedure. The maximum acceptable distance between the paint can and the prop from blade to blade is one eighth of an inch or three millimeters. Ideally, you'd like to have it down to be a sixteenth of an inch or one and a half millimeters or less. If you're satisfied with how your prop is tracking, then you're done. But if not, here are a few things you can check. Look for fiberglass backing plates that may be made of a non-uniform thickness. Look for anything else that may be keeping the prop from mounting flush to the engine hub. If your prop still isn't tracking well, you can take it off and either sand away some of the wood under the hub or add extra varnish to improve the tracking. If you have a hardwood maple prop or a mahogany prop from Thompson Aeronautical, you can increase the torque on one side of the prop up to 15 foot-pounds. However, don't try this with a prop made of spruce. For more information on wooden aircraft propellers, visit thompson-aero.com.